but um, you'll get, I believe it's 12 total. Um, it's eight and a half by 11 album, which is what I'm super excited about because I have the, some of the Studio Calico handbooks or some of the smaller size um, albums. And just for reference, I'll show you what I'm talking about. It's, they're like these, um, I think they're like six by eight. This is how I store a lot of my, my stamps, but I have these kind of albums and I've tried to use them for projects, but I find them to be just too small. Um, I like to put more on one page than what that size allows. And sometimes I find that the like Becky Higgins Project Life 12 by 12s are too big. So I've been like Goldilocks when it comes to a Project Life style thing that works for me. And I think that this eight and a half by 11 might just be the perfect solution. The only thing that I'm not so sure about is some of the sizes of the page protectors because I'm not used to working with that size. Like I've never used a four by four before, but, and these have four by four, it's gonna be hard to see. But there um, are four by four and three by four sections. The only thing about this album is it doesn't really wanna stay open, which is kind of different. Um, so they're four by four and I guess these are all the same. Yeah, they're all the same. They are, I think they're four by four and three by four slots, but it doesn't tell you, it just says five inserts. So that's the album, it's really awesome. It's like a clear and gold stripe. And I will say, if you expect that your album is going to stay in perfect condition, this is probably not the album for you because it does have this gold on it and it does scratch. So um, there's a big scratch on the front of mine and one on the back. And I don't think that that has anything to do with how it was packaged because it was packaged awesomely. Um, it's just the nature of this type of album. And I would assume that it will have many more scratches by the time the process is done. So that doesn't really bother me, but if it bothers you, you might want to consider that. I do love this big gold book plate on the side that you can um, put, you know, 2014 or whatever you want to put there. So that is the album I will be working with which I'm very excited about. And you can always take 12 by 12 paper, page protectors and cut them down if that's what you wanna do. So that's always an option also. Um, and then I'm gonna get into all of the goodies that come in the kit. Now, there were two options, one with a stamp and one without a stamp set. And of course, the one without the stamp set was a little bit less expensive. That one has sold out. So all that's left is the December Daily Kit with the stamp. I don't have the stamp to show you, but you can look on the website, it's really cute. So I'm gonna start with the papers and stuff and then show you all of the embellishments. And this is pretty embellishment heavy and pretty minimal on the paper side of it. Um, oops, I got something because while well, that isn't that the nature of a December daily, um, is that it's mostly embellishments and photos. So I think it works perfectly. So I'll start with kind of the base pages and I really love that it's just cracked and white. Now, if you want great Christmassy colored cardstock, I would suggest getting the November cardstock add-on because it has beautiful Christmas colors in it. Um, and you get, I believe, 10 sheets of cardstock and two sheets of vellum with that. So that would be a perfect supplement to this if you wanted some colored cardstock. So there's four sheets of craft and then four sheets of white, which you could cut up and make great bases for your um, December daily or December documented spreads. And then something I'm super excited about are these two pieces. Now I know they look blue, but that's because they have a cover on them. And it is Teresa Collins transparency paper. So it's clear. I'm gonna pull it, pull the uh, the blue off so you can see. That is a clear like acetate, and it's pretty thick. So I am not entirely sure. I'm assuming that you can use your paper trimmer on it. I, I'm not entirely sure. I don't know about a die cutting machine or something like that because it is pretty thick, but it would be super fun for like shaker cards or shaker pockets or anything like that. So now I'm gonna get into the pattern papers. So there are two from the Teresa Collins. Oh no, they're two different lines. Okay, so this is Teresa Collins Candy Cane Lane and it's a pretty, um, neutral background let me zoom in some a neutral background with a white polka dot and then but what you can't tell is that it's a super textured kind of like cartabella paper textured um paper with um, some newsprint and some words and the other side is kind of a 
diagonal pattern. And then this one is from the Tinsel & Company line. And I really like this side, it's kind of a distressed. And then this side is your cut apart card. So there's three by four cards. They're really cute. They're all three by four cards, sorry. So those are a lot of fun. Then there's two pieces from Kaiser Craft. It's called Base Coat Collection. And it's two different kind of distressed wood grain papers, which are perfect. And I would have never thought to put them in like a, uh, a December documented kit, but they're so perfect for um, cutting apart and making um, four by six or three by four cards. I especially love this one because it looks like birch, um, but they're just, they're great bases for different things. Then there's this awesome piece from the Chamel line. It's called Jemison, and it has this great stripe of gold glitter. And then it has some pinks in it too. So a lot of the Christmas lines have pink in them. So if you wanted to incorporate this with another line, you could definitely do that. This is the opposite side, but this is the, the side for the kit. This is from Webster's Pages. Um, all that glitters and I love this paper. I mean, I love the colors and these deer along the side are just too adorable. I think I would have to use this as like a whole eight and a half by 11. But the other side is also awesome because it has all these frames on it. So I don't know, that's a tough call. This is another one from Webster's Pages, All That Glitters. I really like this line. This is super cool. It's white with little diamonds and the diamonds are wood grain. The other side is cut apart. So you have three by four cards, you have two by two cards, and four by six cards. So again, this one with some of that pink Chamel paper would be gorgeous. Um, and then these two, I think this is probably my favorite, it says all the glitters, and then the snow globe. Then there's also a sheet of vellum from that same line. I'm gonna get a piece of white cardstock so that you can really see this vellum because it is awesome. So there are, um, two four by six cards and four four by three cards and they're just this like glittery looking awesome vellum and then there's this strip at the bottom that I think is four by twelve which you could cut apart any way that you like and so again it's vellum if you if you find this to be a little too sparkly bright for you you could always flip it over and use the more muted side so I think that's a lot of fun then there's one more piece from Teresa Collins Tinsel and Company. This is one of my favorite um, pieces of paper for Christmas. I have one of these all already. It's this like kind of wood grain with the diagonal stripe and then a wood grain with all these falling stars. And I just think that it's super pretty. And then the last paper is from the Jen Haddonfield, Hadfield for Pebbles. It's a specialty paper, a cream color with a gold foil dot. So that's all your 12 by 12 or all the papers for this, this kit. And I think that they're lovely and they're going to make an awesome project. And now we'll move on to embellishments, which there are a lot of. So let me get my stuff in order here. First of all, there are two washi tapes, and the first one is gold with white or clear stars. So whatever you have behind it will show through. Really nice. Um, I believe they're freckled fawn washi tapes. We, they are, they're always nice quality washi tapes. And then just a great red and white diagonal. I think a diagonal is my favorite washi and I'm running pretty low on mine. I think um, I have one from a hip kit back probably in November of last year when I first first started with the hip kit. There's also a pack of Maggie Holmes layered tags and these are so fun. They're really really cute. Here's what they look like. They have a bunch of detail on them like um, kind of, well, I have some that are open. Let me show you. I will show you what they look like. I think I've shown them in a video before. But like, here's an example of one. It has the, um, stitched, I can't think of the word of what is that, what that's called. That kind of crepe paper? Crepe paper is what it's called. Yeah. My story. They have nice gold accents on them. Um, and then some of them, most of them have like a stitched detail to them, but some of them are just flat. Like this one has the gold ampersand. There's another one. This one has some stitching on it. Love this one with the gold full heart. And I believe that is all of them. I think so. So those are really nice. And again, kind of a surprise thing in a, 
in a Christmas kit, but I really like the way that they coordinate with everything else. So those will be a lot of fun. And then there are, there's actually three alphas. Um, one is a set of gold thickers that if you order the kit now, they'll probably be in the kit. But if you already ordered the kit, then they'll be sent out to you. Um, these are from, but these are from Freckled Fawn and they are wood um, chip alphabet. There's 120 pieces in here. This is, it's an all uppercase alphabet and this is what it looks like. I'm not going to open the package yet just because I don't have my, how I'm going to store things ready. So I don't want to have pieces everywhere. And then the other alphabet is, I'm super excited about this. It's from Webster's Pages. I love this color of red and there are 435 stickers on this. So you get a ton. They're bigger than, here's a reference of size. They're bigger than the Cosmo Cricut Tiny Type, but they're smaller than the October Afternoon Mini Market, if that makes sense to you guys. So, pretty excited about those. I think they're really, really cute. And then, there's two more kind of fun embellishment. Well, there's more than that, but just some more fun things. So, these are the crepe, crepe paper slide frames from the Pure Collection. I am so excited to have these because I've actually been looking for another set of these. I have... Um, what's left of my original set that I got when that collection came out and I love them. And I'll pull some of them out just to give you some examples, but they match this this um, December documented kit so perfectly. And they're the nice actual chipboard ones. They're not the cardstock ones that like what come out now um, or that have in the past couple of collections. They're the actual chipboard ones, and they're good sizes. I really like this little size. It's great for layering. It's also perfect for three by four cards, but I really like this size, which is a four by four size. And I find that some of the newer sets have very odd sizes, and there's some that are so perfect for Christmas, like the red and white stripe, that teal color. Um, this is one of my favorites. So, I already used almost an entire pack. This is my, actually this is my second pack, the one that's open here. Um, and then that'll be my third pack. <laughs> that's a little crazy, but I literally used all of my first pack except for a couple of these smaller ones. So I had gotten another one and this was way back, like at least a year ago. So I'm just, I'm super excited to have these, I'll tell you, super excited. And there are 27 in here. So there's, you can put, use one every day. The next embellishment is also really fun. This is a decorative pin and clip set from the Maggie Holmes for crepe paper line, open book line. And I'll just pull this out if I can. Yeah. So you get three of these little like clip, they look like clipboard clips. They're awesome. Um, I love this black and white heart and these little resin deer are adorable. There's this bow, a camera, a button, an ampersand, and then this gem. And you know, I I would not be opposed to wearing this in my hair because I think it is adorable, little bow. So really, really fun embellishments. And they're not like, hey, I'm Christmas. So you could definitely, if you had leftovers, use them for other projects, which I think is awesome. Here are some Tinsel and Company 40 enamel dots and shapes. They're a darker gray, a light gray, a very light gray a tan color and a red, and then there's four snowflakes and this Christmas tree. So those are fun. These are some Webster's Pages All That Glitter stickers, and I really like these that are kind of a tag shape, and I love that one with the deer on it. Um, this is one of my favorites because if y'all know, this, cr these crossed arrows is one of my favorite symbols ever. Joy to the world, jingle all the way, milk and cookies, merry and bright, here comes Santa Claus, and happy new year. This one says Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. This would be awesome like to close the back of a card with. That would be so cute. So I really like these a lot. And then, okay, so then we have this set of stickers from Pink Paisley, Merry and Bright, and they're really fun and they have all sorts of different Christmas words. They're very, very hard to show on camera because they're so bright, but you can probably see them better online, I would say. And then the last embellishment is from Jelly Bean Soup and their mini craft numbers, as you can see here, and you can see on the back even better. And they're all different shapes, which is something I really, really like about this because I just think that I like the variety better than something that's all the same. So that is the Hip Kit December Documented, and 
I will be back with a video showing you how I'm going to incorporate, although this is enough stuff to use for the entire month, I'm going to incorporate a bunch of my own stuff into it that I want to use up. So I'll be back with a video showing you that. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.